please people is not inherently a negative thing. But I guess what we're saying and what we're alluding to is for somebody to be a people pleaser, i.e. it's an actual thing that they're actively seeking for their own form of whatever the reasons that they're doing, it could be a negative thing. Yes. And it also could be wonderful. I think we need more people pleasers. I think we have enough assholes. We have enough murderers. We have enough enough all these other things. Murderers. We need a lot more people. We need more assholes. Why? You want to no. know what's crazy, fantasy? Yeah. Yeah. She, the, fantasy? Based off of the video, the lady I just was said talking we about, need more. I know we the have lady them. was talking about people pleasers I being, being liars, right? That's one of the things she was alluding to in the video. The, the disconnect here is, is that Fantasy Island is right. She said, now she, she's basically saying there's another side to people pleasing that is also positive. Now the all and that's the good, that's from the very good. beginning to that, now that's that's so what she being a people pleaser, Sweeney. <clears throat> that was that was her whole argument. Now the thing is that she did people say she didn't rape read. is dysfunctional. Come on, man. Um, how see, you gonna exactly, criticize how did you do this? Come on, bro. <laughs> but no, though the the thing that she okay. missed and she admitted to it was that she did not read the question. That's the reason why we were talking about the negative aspects of people pleasing, yeah. and the reason why it's been coming off that way. Is because that was the whole point of the question. What are the problems with being a people pleaser? Which she did not mention. Come there on. There was also the context no. within the video because we he watched is. we watched a video of what a woman was talking about the negative aspects of being a people right. pleaser and how she was losing attraction to them. So we had the video context as well, which led us in this direction. So yeah, fantasy, but they were talking about like negative aspects. Mister, let go. That's not the damn topic. The negative aspects, and Mister, let go is adamantly telling you that he believes it is negative period so do you understand why like i'm saying you're wrong not there are no negative sides to it but you specifically are wrong in your mindset about it as a whole because you see it as only a negative and you do not see how it could also be positive well that's easy way to a negative connotation. Yeah. It can it be like looked at like differently, but it wouldn't be people using. Just like what uh, I think Paradise said. There's different aspects of... No, I think uh, uh, Precious said it. You can do something nice for somebody that's not people-pleasing. There's certain aspects of it that you can do that isn't people-pleasing, but it wouldn't be that. People pleasing itself is negative, but there are certain yeah. aspects of it that can be positive, but itself it's negative. That's and we're talking true. about the negative side of people pleasing. That's not necessarily true, Mr. Lego. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed. I'm, I'm sick of arguing with y'all. He, he doesn't care. <laughs> we didn't tire of this. It seems like you guys Wonderful. are talking about like the most toxic part of it which now it doesn't to me it doesn't become people pleasing it just becomes manipulation and everything in that category thank you all like putting thank it in I, i'm learning stuff from y'all like wait i didn't know it was that that deep but like people pleasing people is pleasing is a, is a form of manipulation it is if you have if you haven't I, 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 it can be a form of manipulation relation with a form of manipulation you won't true, you wouldn't bro. think it was all those things it's dependent on your intentions, what people pleasing is. If your intentions is are different. The Paradise pleasing. said that. Paradise Paris said that. She said, you know, so a lot of people have their own agendas when you're people pleasing. You know, it's like yeah, it's agenda like driven. parasite. You know, you, you gotta keep feeding it because yes. it's, it's based upon how you're feeling and how you want to feel as opposed to just genuinely being nice and kind and loving towards someone. All right, so hold on. All right, so all right, so it doesn't matter if you get joy no. out of it. Fantasy Island girls, stop! No, all right, so, like, all right, so you, you, you had a cut in bodies. Fantasy we can, we can put a, we can put a nail in it right now. To That's not going to be a people pleaser, right? Saying it doesn't matter is is dismissive. Go ahead, Sweeney. Stop. To, to please people is not inherently a negative thing, but I guess what we're saying and what we're yes, alluding to is for so somebody to be God. a people pleaser, i.e., it's an actual thing that they're actively seeking for their own form of whatever the reasons that they're doing it could be a negative thing yes 
and it also could be wonderful. I think we need more people pleasers. I think we have enough assholes. We have enough murderers. We have enough enough all these other things. Murderers. We need no. a lot more people. We need more people. No. Why? You want to no. know what's crazy? Yeah. Fantasy. We already have guys, yeah. she, the, Fantasy. Based off of the video, the lady. I was just talking said we about, need more. I know we. The have lady them. was talking about people pleasers I being being liars, right? That's one of the things she was alluding to in the video. The you want to know who I? You want to know? And Mr. Let go. You want to know who I've always heard people call assholes? The people that told the truth. Yes. Thank you. And, and let, let me also add this because fantasy, you. you saying we need more. It, let me ask oh, people who, who know clinically what this means. It, can we say that people pleaser is synonymous with enabler? Can we say, say that? yes? No. Say yes. Stop. I, I think they're pretty no. synonymous. I'm going right. to say no. You need to put them in the category you just said. They that. You put in that onto people pleaser. Like people pleaser is Thank you. I don't know. To me, y'all put it's their own thing. Situation and he's not he's not part of this. He's he's in a whole nother level of toxicity. Like that's not a people pleaser. He's a liar and all these other manipulator. things. Manipulator. Right. Someone right, manipulator. People pleaser is more like they don't want to hurt someone's feelings. And okay. yeah, and one, don't want to hurt someone's feelings. They want to make sure that they are not uncomfortable telling out of them fear something of what? That True. Out of fear of what? They, most of the time, they don't want to have confrontation. So some people no, don't want to say, "Hey, yeah." They don't want to have. But the isn't conversation. that a negative conversation? Connotation? No, I didn't say it was. I didn't say it was all good, but I don't think it's like the most toxic shit okay. that y'all talking about. No, no I'm just it's, it's not necessarily like. Ne it's what not is a people pleaser? A people pleaser is someone who tries hard to make others happy. Yeah. They will often go out of their way to please someone, even if it means taking their own valuable time or resources away from them. People pleasers often act out of insecurity and lack of self-esteem. That's about as far as I got. I.e. negative connotation. Yeah. No, no I got another that, one. that definition says according, so according to Dr. Suzanne Newman, wow. people pleasers want everyone around them to be happy and they would do whatever it takes to keep them that way. They can often be perfectionists, rehearsing what they're going to say before phone calls, styling their meticulously in the mirror, styling their hair meticulously in the mirror, and spending hours browsing the internet for the perfect smartphone that defines them. For others, it's also it's almost an addiction. The constant validation right. gained from being a people pleaser makes them feel like selfish. they are needed and useful. Is Which there a point? It's selfish. It's all, it's it's all about being selfish. selfish. No, 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 no. The first part. Self-neglect. Self-neglect. Which is why I say no. the first part was not self-neglect. Oh, my God. Fantasy out girl. You just want to come over here and argue with everybody. That's all you want to do. I know what you're doing. You're just not listening to the definition or me. Validation. And everything you do is for other people's approval because that is how your ego, your confidence is elevated. So even if you're saying, hey, I did this for a, a good reason, it was out of the kindness of my heart, you have to be able to sit and reflect and say, I did this because it served me too. If your insecurity is based around people pleasing, and you get secure by people pleasing, it's self serving. Yeah. It's yes, still satisfying it an urge. You're still it satisfying an urge. It is self serving. That is self serving the way that you're defining it. However, you are just, missing the definition. He just read the definition to you. And in the definition, they said it is often, not always. It is oh often. God. And often people don't point out people pleasing unless it's in a negative way. So, so you try that's to hit, why they think, the wait a minute, women. wait not a minute. Women. It's not about not all women, Mr. Lego. And you're not all women in the conversation flow. Okay. Yeah, and you're okay. cutting me off when I'm trying to have this conversation with her. You're we already understand your stance. Do you understand mine? Uh, you don't want to keep talking to. Yeah, fantasy island girl is not wrong. <laughs> Um, she's not there, wrong. Yeah, she's I'm not, not wrong. wrong. I, I, I per the definition, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. We I were up here, so instead of you, Mr. Let like, oh, you're rude. You're cutting me off. Not, not, not letting me land. You ah. might as well just chill out, sit precious, down, and let me finish talking. what I'm saying. Can you let Precious finish? Talking. I was Stop literally in the middle of a conversation with her, and you decided to be rude for no reason. Well, you don't even understand what I'm saying. Finish her statement, please. Mature of you. Not so. Like I was saying. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact that there are people that are doing it out of the kindness of their heart. 
They're not going to have any negative connotation from it. They're not going to have any, they're not going to necessarily have a negative connotation from it because they don't have negative intentions behind it. And usually when you're pushing out positive energy and you have positive intentions behind it, you get positivity back. I'm 31. I'm almost going to be 32 in September, God willing. And I've been like this my whole life. My life has been pretty wonderful in my eyes. My son is starting out like this. And I'm like, mm, if you keep that rosy outlook, you're going to have a pretty positive life. People like to be around you and you like to be around other people. And I think that's very natural and humanistic of us. Mm. And I okay, think the only reason that people are missing that I is because so, of the negative shit they've experienced uh, in their life. Okay, 